give me your money, man. Hey, 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 hey. Today we're gonna pressure test some stuff with the knife. So we thought about three different scenarios. How they're going to play out, we'll see. So he's gonna pick one of the scenarios, I don't know which, and then I'm gonna try and react. And if you wanna try and practice this kind of thing on your own, it's important that you keep it realistic. So that means if he's walking towards me, I have no idea that he's gonna attack me. Unless he has some kind of really mean stare or something going on, then perhaps it may trigger some alertness, but still, I'm not allowed to just kick him or something just because he's walking in a direct manner towards me. So, he may walk towards me once or twice or three times. The important thing is to make sure that you're not reacting unless the situation and the threat has presented itself. Okay? Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Very nice <laughs> done. Very nice and done. Okay, just keep the camera rolling. So it's gonna be interesting to look at this footage. So in the, this situation, he walks up to me and he asks about the bus. Can I ask you something? Uh, sure. Uh, where's the bus? Uh, the bus? Yeah, where's the bus? Uh, I didn't want to bring out my hands or initiate some kind of confrontation because it's just the person asking for the bus but I was trying to still circle a bit and keep some distance but definitely not enough. Do you remember what happened? Well, I, I, uh, I wanted to ask about the bus because you know my intention was to kill you and I didn't want to uh, you know, show the knife so imagine we are on the street, everybody can come and ask where's the bus uh, stop or even the train or something like that. So that's what I thought would be a good strategy and as we got on the ground I actually switched hand because you, you was trying to uh, trap the hand mm -hmm. and then I stabbed you. So Yeah, uh, yeah. That was nice, you went from to the ice pick yeah. grip and yeah. yeah but so that, as you, if you remember, I actually stabbed you. In exactly. The and that I, I think I tried to do a block from Krav Maga, but I haven't trained Krav Maga that long. Yeah. Uh, where you mm. try and put your arm with the bone in between to create some distance. Yeah. And then ideally you would strike next, mm. but yeah, none of that happened. <laughs> I got the uh, stab for sure, yeah. Okay, Very nice. Scenario. Okay, next so scenario. next scenario. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Came mm -hmm. over. Again, once again, uh, interesting situation. So, in this situation, I I picked up a bit of a, a vibe yeah. as he was walking around. Again, I didn't want to initiate the situation, but I felt had this been a real situation, I would have felt threatened. So he ran towards me from a distance. So that's a less experienced guy. 
So it's not someone who's probably killed multiple people with knives before. And that allowed me to react a bit better. Uh, so I delivered, uh, I think it was a front leg, front kick or a rear leg, which created a bit of distance. Then my instinct was to run. And ideally, if there was, it would be very risky to try and open the door like this. And this one turns out to be closed even. So it's not always possible to run, but still, by running, I had a little more time to try and scan the area. And he came approaching me, and I was sideways. I think I did like a side kick. You don't want to do any high kicks, because the moment it takes to bring the leg down, it's a moment lost, and you need all, all the time you can have to react. Still, he ended up killing me. Can, can you remember what happened? So, from your perspective? Yeah, you tried to defend yourself, um, and then I immediately just closed the distance. Yeah. And, and, and I remember I just backstabbed you, like, for real. Like, yeah, and, and in my back, I think. Yeah. And, and also, I remember a mistake I made now, when, as I was running and circling, I ended up getting myself into a corner here, so that's a very bad situation as well. Yeah. Uh, it's much better to be in open space if, if you have the opportunity. Let's so one more scenario. Let's see what happens. Give me your money, man. Hey, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Give me your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to do that. Just a no, moment, sir. I'm gonna kill you, man. Hey, 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 I have my pocket here. You want my money? Yes. I've got lots of money. Yeah. Okay, take it. Okay, so that's. Don't do anything. I'm gonna bring my hand. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. Just okay, give me the fucking okay, money. Okay, I'm bringing my hand yes. down here. Don't slow. Okay. Don't do anything stupid. Okay, okay, okay. Just let me know. I've got money lots over there. of money. You can, yes. you can have them. Throw them here. Throw them. Okay, sure. Throw them. I swear to God, I'm gonna let you go, okay? Uh, okay. You live? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Good. Then I'm gonna gonna report this, not anything. Alright. Okay. Get up. Get up. Okay, nice okay. Movement. I wanna be careful with this blade. Don't do anything. No sudden movement. Now you're gonna run. Run. You're gonna run over there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go, go, go! Okay, keep the camera rolling. Okay, so let's get uh, both perspectives. Yeah. This time around, let's start off with yours. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, I didn't want to kill the guy, first of all, because uh, I didn't want to become a murderer. I was a desperate man who just wanted some money. And that was uh, what I was thinking about, that if I could get the money, I would also give him his life back. So that's my take on it and you actually did everything very good you followed the orders and you kept alive yeah yeah i was uh, yeah it was a good thing for sure that he also presented that option and i think a lot of times if that's the intention the uh the, the threat so to speak will try and present that as an option because it's a bad situation for him ending up in jail, just as it's a bad situation for me ending up dead. And so, I've kept my pocket on me, the, my wallet on me the entire time, so I had no idea. I was ready to perhaps be asked for money or something at any point during these scenarios, and then it happened right now. Uh, so, w one thing I thought of was to make it as clear as possible for him, at least, that I was re reaching for the uh, wallet and I was doing it slowly, because you don't want him to get scared or something if you're in a situation like this and you 
reach for something. And, and also, as I was getting up, it was quite a scary situation because I didn't want to do anything clumsy or if he did something clumsy and then it would be a bad situation for both of us, I would have my, my uh, throat uh, sliced. So, as, as I threw the, the wallet, I tried to not, I tried to throw it with some distance but not be disrespectful. Uh, so I tried to make it a casual throw but still create some distance because my immediate thought was that he was going to move towards it. And if he did, of course I would have a situation where I could kick him from behind or something but still I wouldn't do that even if it was a good chance to do it. It's just because there's no reason to risk it in a situation like that. Just a moment, sir. Sure, I'll kill you, man. Hey, 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 I have my pocket here. Do you want my money? Yes. I've got lots of money. Yeah. Okay, take it. Okay, so that's... Don't do anything I'm gonna bring my hand... I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. Just uh, give me the fucking okay, money. Okay, okay, I'm bringing my hand yes. down here. Don't slow, okay. don't do anything stupid. Okay, okay, okay. Just let me know. I've got lots there. of money. You yes. can... You can have them. Throw them here. Throw them. Okay, sure. Throw them. I swear to God. Yeah, so... So if you ask something like that to throw your wallet, you can try and do it with some distance, but just don't make it clear that that's your intention. And then he asked me actually to move away, which was a great way to de-escalate the situation on his part, ensuring that, that he didn't end up having to kill me. Yeah. That's it. After years of free content, the time has come where I need a helping hand from some of you. You can support me with $3 each month or 5 or 10 for a few extra benefits. Supporting Sendragon via Patreon will probably make no difference to you financially. If you're living hand to mouth, I don't want your money. Then I'd rather you keep them for yourself. Don't worry, I'll be alright. The donations are in place to help cover equipment and other expenses for the channel. Now that I'm also a father, it's more challenging than ever to find the time to create and share free content. But if enough of you support on Patreon, there will come a day where I can cut down my 9 to 5 job either partially or altogether, which will make it sustainable to continue creating and sharing free content here on YouTube. Even if that does not happen, I'll still continue sharing, but possibly with longer breaks in between. Thanks for listening. Now visit my Patreon, that's patreon.com slash sendragon. I greatly appreciate you for listening and for continually watching Send Dragon.